Hey YouTube, uh, this is a redoing of yesterday's video, which doesn't turn, actually turn out that bad. Um, I was uploading all the stuff from the New York thing onto the GoPro and I accidentally blanked yesterday's video. Which was, I've sorted the corker. So, first bit, that you obviously saw the part one where I was talking about where I got the guitar and all about it and stuff. But I wasn't happy with this. It's got a freeway switch in it, the way it was wired. So, now I've rewired it properly. Um... The freeway switch is a bit of a pig. There wasn't, even if you went to the site, they had, uh, you know, suggested wiring diagrams for it. They didn't have one for a two humbucker guitar. Like, oh, that's pure uncommon having two humbuckers on a guitar. It's like what? Um, I, there, I did find a wiring diagram, but it was like the complexities involved. And I've done a lot of these things, you know, putting a. Uh, you know, single coils in series and all these things. And it's like, that's not really what I was after. There was, there was one, but it was, um, you know, for two unbuckers with a push-pull pot. And it was like, so you got six sounds before you used a coil split on a push-pull pot. And it, it pushed, so basically you got 12 sounds and it's like, uh, I wanted useful ones. So basically I just looked up the, the actual switch diagram and how the switch worked. So... Going for super logical, what was in it before was, um, it did, I, could, I managed to find, uh, in, in what I would have thought would be the neck position, the bridge humbucker, there was a neck humbucker in the bridge position, there was a bridge pickup single coil on its own, and the other three sounds were kind of not working, sort of working, kind of things, I'm not really sure exactly what they were, but they weren't very good. Yeah, so... The three-way switch is like a six-position switch. So if you look at it, as there's like two layers. So you get like a three-way up the way. One, two, three. And then if you can go down the way and you get another three. It's like a, kind of like a joystick with six points on it. Um, so I'll number them the way they are in the diagram. So one, two, and three are the lower ones. And four, five, and six are the top ones. So if you've got it pulled up towards you, I'm going for neck humbucker. And then in the, bridge, in the position, so that's four. Six is bridge humbucker in the middle. I'm not really that keen on having two humbuckers on at the same time. So I've got it set as just the outer coil. So it's like a dual coil split on the top run. So that's four, five, and six. One, two, and three are neck, north coil of the neck pickup. Uh, inside coils of both pickups. And then south coil of the bridge pickup. Which is not really, I'm not sure about the south coil of the bridge pickup. I might move that so it's the north coil because it's maybe a little bit trebly but generally i found when you're splitting a, a humbucker in the bridge that pickup sounds slightly better than that one because it's just got a little bit more string vibration so it runs a bit better um also i reversed this pickup as in i wired it up with full knowledge of this because um if you're using a, a handy pickup just lying about it's um so inside coil is the same as this pickup and inside coil is the same as this pickup now, whereas before it was uh, inside and outside, which means that when I'm in the two, the outside coils and inside coil positions, they're hum cancelling. Um, yes, you can do that because this pickup has the Allen key poles on it, whereas if you flip this one upside down, it would be look a bit Peter Greeny, you know, because it's got the screws and the slugs, whereas this one, if you flip it upside down, it looks the same. Yeah, so... Mm -hmm. The sound the sounds I had before, bridge humbucker. Neck humbucker. And then in the middle you've got the, the splitty one. Which has just totally up, opened up whole worlds of stratty sounds. You've got uh, in positions one, two, and three. You've got neck, neck single coil, inside coils, and then bridge pickup, which might be the spiky of the two of them. Does not have a treble bleed out. 
which means you can um, tame that a little bit just by turning the volume down. I'm just playing through the orange TH30, it is running through a 3x12 cabinet, uh, there's a reverb pedal on. So we'll go for... Makes a big difference there, the volume control here. Very soft. So I mean, it's kind of bizarre that this guitar didn't have any of these sounds in it. I mean, I suppose, I guess it depends what you want. But not having the neck signal. Yeah, so I'm afraid this isn't that, that, that this video won't be much help for people who are after a wiring up a freeway switch. They are a bit of a pig. Um, I haven't decided yet whether I like it. It's made in England switch, which is I think exotic if you're in America, not particularly exotic if you're here. So we've got an English switch, a uh, German bridge, and uh, everyone else is American, <laughs> apart from Clausens, which sound German, but maybe they are, maybe they're American as well. Do we just. As I said, I talked about this. The guitar's just getting better and better the more I play it. Um, very articulate pickups, these ones, so you can really... Uh, All the, all the strings seem to kick through, which is nice. coils to a neck on its own. I've just 
out the shower and I'm going out today but I need to get this done. It's actually the morning. Which is not normal for me, being up and playing the guitar in the morning. Something unnatural. Try and not make this video 40 minutes long like yesterday's one was when I got a bit carried away. There will have to be another video of this later on, um, when I'm a bit more warmed up.
Dutch humbucker. Fast pedal.
lean back onto this tango roll. the guitar as well when you're just out the shower and it's too early in the morning feeling a wee bit sick and wanting my breakfast um so that was not as inspired as my jam was yesterday even though i think it might have been sort of similar chords kind of went a wee bit strange there um but you'll be seeing more of this guitar um it's awfully good it might be the best one i've got um that's quite often the case when i've got a new guitar um but i mean not having really any issues with it at all. It's still moving a little bit. I don't think I've got the action quite. Yeah, it's about, it's about right. Um, the sustain on it's fantastic. I don't know whether... I think that's quite a lot to do with this bridge. I've always found that um, the few guitars I've had that I've had, like a wrap over bridge, just seem... The string to its tension seems a bit different. I think it's to do with the fact that in a tunomatic, there's like an extra piece of string in there, you know, to go to the like the post, the stop tail, and the bridge. It's not quite as tight. It just seems a bit more tight, which is like kind of... I've actually got a, an Eastwood Telecaster that's got that, and my um, my BC Rich Wave had that, and then I put a Wonder Bar on it and pure killed it. So it's like... Um, the, the wrap-over thing seems to be very good. This one's actually got intonatable saddles as well, and being Japanese obviously makes it the best. Uh, just the bridge. And I'm still loving the fact that it's got this brown stripe down the edge of the fingerboard. Um, guitar makers basically make guitars look better when you're looking at the bits you see when you're actually playing. So I'm talking about having detail on the top of the headstock and down the back of the neck because those are the only bits you really see. And obviously the binding's pretty cool as well, the way it disappears into that. Um, but I've already talked about that. So there will be more videos of this coming up. Um, um, whether I decide to keep the bridge pickup when it's in single coil mode as the outer coil rather than the inner coil. It depends where it annoys me. I've still not gone in with washers either for the, the knobs are sitting a bit high. I kind of ideally want to take the knobs off, just put a, few, put a few washers in just to get them down so they're at least both sitting at the same level, but I kind of want them closer to the body. They're a wee bit sticking out in spindles. They kind of look a wee bit like they're push-pull pots and they're pulled out, if you know what I mean. But I don't think I want to do uh, very much more with the switch. Apart from, well, my, my, thought, my original thought was I was going to make it inner coils and the, and the 
position for, for five, which is the top middle position. But I didn't. But just by the way, I, it was just easier when I was just working it out in my head as I did it. So the three-way switch is a little bit of a pig. Um, I, uh, basically, the way to do it is to sit and look at the diagram and just spend all night poking away at it, doing it in your head. Is the, the only way I could find to do it. So I mean, if anyone wants me to fit this switch, I suppose I could probably copy it, but it'll be expensive. Um, it's going to be expensive anywhere. It's a fidgety thing. It's got about thirty different terminals on it. It doesn't make any sense. Well, it does make sense, but don't. It's not one that you can just. You know, they're, they're, you've got a fair chance if you're trying to wire up a Les Paul of just not really knowing what you're doing, following a diagram and getting it. But on this one, forget it. Understand how the pickups work before you put a freeway switch in. Don't just go, oh, I'll just copy this diagram because it's it's com it's confusing stuff. Um, there's an awful lot of options. An awful lot of options that I'd, I've tried before, like just using normal switches and stuff. And it's like... The thing that it does do, which I do like, is... Basically, your six positions can be anything. If you know what I mean, you can put them in any order you like, which you can't really do with like a, a normal toggle switch or a five-way lever. You know, you have to have them in a set order. You can't have, you know, like bridge humbucker, neck single coil in order, in any order. In this one, you can just put them in whatever order you want. So in a way, I've kind of, I'm, I'm going to keep the three-way switch in it. But I was thinking of putting push-pull pots in because that basically gives you kind of all these sounds. If I put in a push-pull dual coil split, um, I suppose I wouldn't get inner and outer coils. But the thing I really like is I never really use two humbuckers at the same time. I can see there's there's a function in it if you've got like a Les Paul where you've got two volumes and two tones so you can kind of blend the two to get like something. This has just got one volume so having two humbuckers on is a bit... One of the sounds that was actually in this before, I'm pretty sure, was the two humbuckers in the series. So you just had one sound that was twice as loud as everything else and didn't sound very good. Um, but imagine not... Well, still got the delay on. Imagine not putting neck single coil in it, though. Kind of made it into a strat. Also, this one's got um, the 50s style Gibson wiring where you, you put the tone pot in a different place. It was already in it, so I just left it to see how I got on with it. I generally don't really tend to use tone pots, but it is quite a bright guitar in all positions. But I would much rather have a two bright guitar or a bright guitar than a dull one because it's dead easy to just... You know, you can just EQ the brightness out of it, no problem. Whereas if you're muddy, it's not as easy to EQ the brightness into it. You can tell I'm a Matsumoku guitar fan. Um, the West Tones, particularly. The Spectrum series are very much, have all the brightness! <laughs> it's like, but it's dead easy to just, to tame them. Ultimately, a wonderful guitar, which will probably be one of my show-off pieces, uh, along with the Washburn Falcon, where it's like, pure, I'll just have this and go like, up here, eh. It's like, oh, 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 you got a Gibson Les Paul, I'll raise you a corker. Rock on, and I will, there'll be lots of videos coming up, I've got so many in the computer that I don't know how many, they'll, they'll be coming in hard and fast. Like and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow.